this episode, I am taking you to one of the most alternative, least visited and crazy destinations on the eastern coast of Borneo. My name is Bertie and this is Borneo from below. What I really love about diving is exploring the unknown and today I'm at Scuba Junkie in St Porna. I'm heading to somewhere that's a little bit off the beaten track. Gina, you, know, you wanna grab this, mate? The location in question is here, the Semporna Strait. Now this maritime motorway might not look exactly like your typical dive destination, but I've heard these waters are home to some really unusual animals. This narrow waterway between mainland Borneo and the island of <coughs> Bum Bum, yep, that really is its name, is the main thoroughfare for all boats heading to and from the coastal town of Samporna. From dusk till dawn, this heavy traffic means diving these waters can be quite hairy. However, those brave and experienced enough to give it a go are in for a real surprise when they descend into the seemingly dirty depths. All clear? The strait's proximity to the built-up town of Samporna and surrounding settlements, plus the funnelling effect caused by the region's topography, means there's a huge amount of nutrient runoff pouring into the channel every day. Not exactly easy on the eye, the combination of sewage, trash and a lot of old fishing equipment doesn't initially fill you with excitement. However, look a little bit closer and amongst the slime and grime are some of the weirdest and wackiest animals you've ever seen. Oh, and they're absolutely everywhere. On a dive site like this, it's almost guaranteed you're going to see something new every time. As a macro photographer, this is paradise. Everywhere you turn, there's another tiny critter just begging to have its photo taken. What an incredible dive. It's just like the whole seabed is alive with unusual animals that I've never even seen before. And it might not look the prettiest, but this is one really, really interesting dive site. This is known as muck diving to the initiated. And the mecca for muck diving is the Lembe Channel in Sulawesi, Indonesia. Now the Samporna Straits may not be on the same scale, but they do host their own little mysteries. Rumour has it that these waters are home to a mythical beast, an underwater dragon that is the source of legends. Few have seen it, who knows if it really exists. Either way, we're going to try and find it. So now we're on the hunt for the elusive, the enigmatic Samporna Sea Dragon. Now these guys are incredibly rare, so we've got no idea if we're going to find it, but we're going to give it our best shot. As we set off on our search, it quickly became apparent that finding this mythical beast was no mean feat. That's because it only measures around two and a half centimetres in length. Commonly known as the Lembe Sea Dragon, this little enigma has been rebranded for the local area. And since it looks just like a piece of wispy seaweed, actually spotting what's known as the Samporna Sea Dragon was going to require a massive stroke of luck. Then just as I was about to call it a day, I noticed something buried in the sand. Was it just a scrap of weed or rubbish? We needed to take a closer look. OK, it was far too big to be a sea dragon, but it certainly was serpentine. Nestled in the sand beneath me was a marine file snake. 
Growing up to a metre in length and covered in rough scales resembling a workman's tool, it's not hard to see where the file snake gets its name. Unlike its cousin, the banded sea crate, marine file snakes don't possess any venom. Like an underwater anaconda, they ambush and then constrict their prey, using their baggy skin and sharp scales to grip onto the slipperiest of meals. Whilst they live a predominantly aquatic lifestyle, like all reptiles, the sea snake must surface to breathe air in order to survive. However, they can stay beneath the waves for up to 40 minutes before it's time to take another breath. So we might not have seen the mythical Semporna Sea Dragon, but it's still been an incredible day diving here in the Semporna Strait. And not a bad sunset either to cap it all off. So that concludes my time diving in the Semporna Straits. It may not be the Lembe Channel, but there's still much to be seen and, with the right equipment, photographed. It's amazing to think that beneath its exterior, this grubby, treacherous shipping lane is a lot like a box of chocolates, because you never know what you're going to get. Which just goes to show you should never judge a dive site from the surface. This week's environmental cause is Green Semporna, who work tirelessly to help conserve the local area. By clicking on our Patreon link for as little as $1 per episode, you're not only supporting them in their cause, but also helping us in our quest to shoot a second series. Thanks for watching.